This is Tia Wano, the Real Estate Apostle, and my best life coach. And today is August 30th, 2020. And today I'm and I'm on day 31 over 90. Yeah, I had got a little bit distracted, but um, it's actually 31 over. Uh, no, no, is it 32 over 90? Yeah, today is 32 over 90, August 31st, 2020. All right, so I've got some clips I'm going to show you um, of how my YouTube's growing and also um, checking some other statistics on my profile. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and um, give me a thumbs up and share because I'm giving you some really good information here. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my five tips to be able um, that helped me that I use to um, reprogram my brain. All right, so stay tuned and enjoy the clip. Okay, so today I got 771 subscribers, and um, the problem that I was having, or the um, the obstacle that I had to overcome, was um, the watch hours, and I wasn't doing the program correctly because I wasn't keeping up with. Um, the actual group pages for the done for you. So anyway, I wanted to just show you that um, last night after I got steered in the right direction, I, my watch um, time went from 75 to 82. So that's a good seven hours um, from doing things correctly. So um, note to follow instructions <laughs> if you want to get the full benefits from the uh, program that you have purchased. You want to learn and listen and follow the instructions. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you that it's nighttime and I have uh, 795 subscribers. Um, however, um, something usually happens where you, lo you, you lose some watch time hours, so I'm gonna stop even worrying about that because, like, okay, look, how is it? 79 from you know it was 82.6 earlier so you know that's like three hours and i know that yeah you know, later i'm gonna laugh at why i'm complaining about three hours when i have like thousands of hours but um you know when you're trying to get there you would be looking kind of but i'm not anyway i'm gonna <laughs> Stop. I'm about to do afternoon checkup on the stuff and see what's going on here. Let's see here. We got YouTube, which is my baby. But I'm um, I'm getting ready to start on some uh, Instagram since YouTube is um, pretty much potty trained here. So it ain't the baby no more. Let me see. Okay, 785. And that's 785 subscribers. This is me. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, more celebration time. <laughs> and I know, look at that, <laughs> yay. Um, because of the done for you support. I just love, how I love being part of the group, especially now that I know what I'm doing. All right, so now let's see here with these um, watch hours. It's my, I think mine don't up, up, up date, but daily. So it's not gonna say, it's gonna say the same thing, but obviously I've had some more action there but i'm not showing any all right so let's see here if anything is in the digi store if we got any digi money let's see here i haven't looked in a couple of days i'm just trying to make it like a two-day deal every every other day <gasps> more money more money more money baby <laughs> okay that happened on the 31st oh that was was that yesterday Wait, that, oh, that's today. Today's the 31st. I, I got a sale today. <laughs> I got live action here, baby. Okay, that's not bad. And I keep reminding myself that I started this YouTube channel July 20th, uh, July 23rd, 2020. <laughs> and um, I didn't actively start growing it, you know, in, until August 5th. And Right now, I'm at 797 <laughs> subscribers, and I just feel like um, that it's working. So um, I'll probably tie back into that because I'm going to tell you these um, my five tips to reprogram um, reprogram your mind. Right. So number one is waking up early. 
right? So a lot of times um, you may not even realize that you kind of wake up on your own early. If you do, you should make the initiative to just go ahead and get up out of the bed and, and thank the universe for um, waking you up early because when you get up early, you're able to like, you add more, I, I, I know you still have the same hours, but you, you're able to achieve a lot because you're not what I call burning daylight. <laughs> Like if you get up at four, you could have already have done your meditation. You could have done your workout. You could have, um, you know, done some chores. I mean, you like you could have done a ton of things before most people get up. Even if people get up at six, you still got like two, <laughs> two hours head start, right? So, you know, it's like a race, man. If you, the early bird gets the worm, that's how they say. So anyway. Um, waking up early and actually getting up and start like really you know grinding your day out as soon as possible uh, tip number five a uh, tip number four is reading reading is so helpful it's like exercising your mind right the, the brain is a muscle too right so you got to exercise that and reading does that because um, you know at the time you're reading Nobody knows but you <laughs> how you're interpreting it, how what um, picture your brain is fixing up for you that connects with the words that you're reading. And it increases your vocabulary. It just does a lot of stuff. And then it gives you knowledge. So, and you can pick and choose um, what kind of books you like to read. I like how-to books. I like, um, like spiritual books, books on... Um, like, you know, kind of space cadet books, like I like astrology, numerology, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, how to how to better yourself. <laughs> so read, like reading is a good, very important thing you should read. Tip number four is, um, let's see, oh, spending. One of my favorite tips. Do you, <laughs> a lot of times, um, it doing this alone helps to you to free yourself like if you um really think about it. a lot of times we especially grow up poor you uh brain is conditioned to try to hold on to mind like you're scared to let it go but the universe there's so you've got to circulate you got to be part of the circulation right uh, have you ever seen those um like those little lines where people work all together and like the somebody is dipping the bucket in the sand or the water and and they just pass it down like that, right? So you got to keep, if you're not part of it, then you mess up the whole line. So the universe feel that same way. Like if it's pouring out the blessings of the money, if you are hoarding it, you're going to get skipped over because it's like you're not available. So you got to keep passing it, you know, and it's going to come back to you tenfold. Like you've got to put the green out there. So a good thing um, to do, which... I always do is when something happens like some type of you know tragedy that's going to require you to pay some money <laughs> instead of getting like oh man man, well, I, man I just got through paying for this and getting all been out of shape like get excited because now you're going to get a bigger blessing because you just had to pass it down so I always get excited when those kind of things happen because I know that um that means that a bigger lesson is coming around especially it depend on your attitude too because if you do get a negative attitude when the big something comes it's going to be a big negative but if you have a positive attitude when the big something comes it's going to be something big and positive so that's why it's important to um, guard against and be strategic and mindful of your emotions you gotta be mindful of them you know you can't be uh getting out been out of shape um, number four is sacrifice. Uh, and these are things that I'm implementing for 90 days. And, and my sacrifice is um, sex. So I'm feeling like if you're going to be part of this 90-day boot camp, you have got to be celibate for the 90 days. All right. So, it's, I mean, I've taken vows of celibacy many of times uh, for longer than 90 days. So if you can't abstain for 90 days you 
need to work on yourself because <laughs> um, you know it's not that that much and then two if you're trying to transform and elevate how you gonna do that if you mingling with <laughs> the commoners <laughs> you gotta be real mindful of who you share and blend your energies with if you blend in energy with broke Joe over here then you know if you really truly are believing that you're a multi-millionaire then you why would you be banging the pool guy like yeah for real like uh raise your standards up so what's gonna happen is when you do that you know mind's gonna be clear um because you know when you're doing it um having carnal sex like yeah i mean just gratifying because it, you already knowing that you're not gonna be happy with <laughs> broke joe because Broke Joe hasn't elevated himself to figure out how to get financially free. So if you're going to be financially free, you can't be with somebody who still sleep. Like, so if you abstain when you get there, you'll, you know, you, there be, you would rather mate with somebody, you know, who's in the same, you know, so, you know, it doesn't work. Like you won't even be able to elevate yourself up if you are, having that kind of carnal and all that stuff. Cause it, especially for women, you know, cause we've been entered into and there's all kind of spirits being left behind. You just don't need it, just don't do it, right? Just take a break for 90 days and then you you will thank me for it later. And I said that in another video, thank for me later. Just abstain, it's gonna enrich your life. And uh, my, uh, how long did I do? Is that <laughs> five? One, two, three, four, okay, five. Self-improvement. <laughs> I should say, don't take yourself so serious, okay? So, but um, self-improvement is my number one thing that you could do. Because, you know, like I say, always say, the most important person is me, you know? So I'm always wanting to improve me. So that it's a good thing to always be including self-improvement because we can all improve. All right, so that's my top five tips, and um, it's been it's been really really good. I'm excited, you know, because now it's starting over again. So it's that little part of you know I have had the climax from the 30 days. Now I'm back at to like the 60. Then I have a, another I have another climax. <laughs> but right now it's the um, put in the work again. Like I have to start working on my Instagram. So um, I'm about to get that built up. So y'all get ready to follow me over there on Instagram too. Cause I'm about to be the social media queen, baby. Yeah, I'm about to blow up in all arenas. Ha!